What is going on guys? It is back to the Matthew Cam. Um, we are currently, I am with uh, Nicole. We are driving back, back home for this weekend because tonight is the high school's, what is it? Senior, Senior night. night. So we're gonna go home. I'm staying home this weekend, so we're gonna be going that. So we're about halfway back right now. We're about 20 minutes out. It's 4.56 right now, so I'm expecting to get back around sometime around 5.30. Things are looking familiar out here. Familiar territory. Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I started a vlog late today and um, I am going to bed late today, but um, it's the last football game of the high school season and so, um, yeah guys, it was honestly, okay, the end of the game was sad because the coach made all of the seniors, it was their last game and it was like their senior night, he made all of them go take a final jog around like the football field and I was like that's so sad <laughs> like honestly um so it was like I said just it was like I felt like a really emotional game for all the seniors whose last game it was and on top of that too the last game of the season they played this team whose um defensive coordinator was the head coach for the last four years and honestly none of the kids ever liked him <laughs> Matthew will say it he did not like him as a head coach um over the he said that the la like his junior and senior year definitely didn't like him because he was finally up at varsity and really saw what was going on obviously like when Matthew was a sophomore and a freshman didn't really know entirely what was going on his team last year should have won like at least four games um they only ended up winning two one of them was in overtime and a second game um they blew i think that was their homecoming game when they should have won in the first game of the season they also should have won i think they only ended up losing maybe by a touchdown or two touchdowns or something like that um and so they were they had like four that were pretty definite wins that they really should have gotten and um they like just had a really horrible year and Matthew his first the first game of the season last year they knew that there was just bad decisions made I guess and like all kinds of stuff but Matthew just he didn't like him as a coach and I like I said none of the kids really seemed to have liked him either so they played him as defensive coordinator for this team he have this new coach that really seems invested in the program and seems like a good coach and the kids actually respect him as a coach which is something that like you need and no none of the kids like that he really ever had I don't think ever respected him really um and like Matthew would always say too he'd scare you into doing what he wanted you to do instead of like encouraging or you know getting you to do something because you didn't want to mess up you know you wanted to be good but he was just like would scare you and intimidate you know the intimidation factor and the whole thing and that's why I think a lot of the kids didn't like him you know he took four years and he couldn't get them anywhere so um you know then he goes to a school where they are competing and stuff like that instead of trying to stay at a school and fix what he started <laughs> and so um he's apparently still working at this school which is kind of um nobody actually knew that up until today's game um like everybody was like what like he does so he actually works with the current head football coach in like the athletic department I guess and I don't actually know what he does but I was like how on earth can you sit in the same office next to a guy that you're playing that you know just like nobody liked and like you're here now to kind of clean up the mess that he made over the last four years like I don't know intense game because of him being the coach which this team was actually four and four I believe and they needed at least one more win to try and get into the playoffs um I don't know if they will make it for sure that other team ended up winning today and we lost but um the thing was guys down to the last um I think in the fourth quarter it was a shutout 
it was uh, 30 to 0. <laughs> Let's at least get some points against his defense. You know, the bad blood that's been running through um, and stuff like that through this, um, you know, the last few seasons. Some of those seniors and juniors and even some of the sophomores that are there and stuff like that. Let's let's get some points. So they actually ended up scoring first on a safety on the offense. And we were like, well, at least it's not a shutout. But the thing that stunk was we were like, we at least want to get one like, you know, touchdown against our the former head coach's defense because now he's their defensive coordinator. They scored and they um, ended up going for the field goal, which I was like, yeah, rubbing in his face. Because he always said that, I think I told you guys in the game last year, um, that they were like, oh, no, we don't have a field goal unit. We're not going to kick field goals and stuff like this. But we had an amazing field goal kicker. This kid was kicking from, like, the 30-yard line in some of the practices and stuff like that. The kid's got, like... A boot he can like kick the ball like it's nobody's business and um, they went to go kick the ball it was actually a bad snap they threw it for the two points so the final score is actually 10 to 30 which in my book feels a little better we got into double digits and everything like that but it was a much better game than um, at least at the end in the red zone like three or four times and threw interceptions every single time which really stunk um, but the, honestly, guys, I know and I always sound like I'm blaming it on the referees whenever I talk about football. It really stunk, though, because there was a ton of horrible pass interference calls, and they weren't calling anything. And then, and then like, the referee that was on our sideline wasn't calling any of them. And then the referee, like, I don't even think they really threw any pass interference calls. Calling, like, little, like, offsides penalties and stuff like that, like, a ton of those and stuff like that and not even a ton like I feel like it was a normal amount of flags for a football game but there was so much extra stuff that was going on they ended up throwing like light hits on us and like other kind of stuff and you know things like that and at one point again at the end of the game these kids are out there trying to battle for just space on the field because these kids are holding them while they're running down field and stuff like that so there's a lot of you know I'm sure extracurriculars going on because of that and then they throw like a personal foul penalty on one of our kids because they're getting held like and you really can't expect them not to be doing that but you're not calling anything when the guy literally can't get his arms up because he's trying to catch a ball like this like with little t-rex arms um which is like i said it's just ridiculous and that's why like you can't call it on one kid and then not on another kid so then there's a lot of pushing and stuff like that going on and you know, um, like I said, though, we did have, there was a few calls, uh, I think we had one really big roughing the passer penalty, um, uh, one against us, and then one also for us, but it bailed us out of a really big situation that was, like, fourth, I think, fourth down or something like that. They got at least two, the first two flags, I think, were actually encroachment on the defense, um, and I think those were the first two, and then they weren't, like, like I said, though, they weren't, they were barely throwing anything against the, uh, the, the, you know, pass interference, and it was mainly one referee. The other refs actually seemed like they were decently good, but this one guy that was on our sideline wasn't throwing any pass interference penalties, and literally the stuff's going on right in front of him. There was one time, too, on a kickoff where these two kids were just, like, completely, like, going at it. Like, I honestly thought punches were going to start being thrown, and it happened all all right in front of the referee. I mean, he's standing literally about two feet away and was watching the whole thing because his head is turned away from like right where it was happening and never threw anything. And I was like, holy cow, like that's when stuff starts to get dangerous and that's when like players start to take that kind of stuff into their own hands and you as an official have to try and get that under control so that doesn't happen. Even if you throw two personal foul penalties and they offset, but it's like a warning to the players. Like I see what's going on, knock it off. Um, and so, like, like I said, that kind of stuff, like, you can't just be, um, oblivious to that kind of thing, but, yeah, guys, like I said, it was a really sad and emotional, it's the last game of the, the football season, like, completely, we have no more Friday night footballs to go to, but, um, yeah, guys, uh, I went to the grocery stores too earlier today, I went to, um, Valley Produce Caputo's, and I went to Jewel, guys, I, they had a couple of little deals, and I was like, I'm gonna go pick up some of the stuff that they had, so I might actually start implementing Jewel maybe a little bit into my, um, weekly grocery shopping trip and stuff like that, because I actually had a really good deal on toilet paper, and the cauliflower was actually on sale, they also had some junk food stuff like Oreos and Doritos, <laughs> but, um, 
yeah guys and then they also actually had some um of my vegetarian freezer uh, like the dinners, like the Amy's Organics um, freezer dinners, they had the really good macaroni and cheese, the baked macaroni and cheese one, and an enchilada bowl, which guys, I haven't had those in forever, and um, they actually don't really have any at Walmart, like they have a I don't even think they actually have any of those, but they have like a tiny little selection at Walmart. The last time I was there, I got something, a couple things, and they have, I thought, a way bigger selection. And now that I like went back this last weekend, it's like they had like two types of soup. And I was like, and they had like, I don't know if they have in a special section, but they did have like all the Baco burgers and like Morning Star. I I think it's called Morning Star, um, like the vegetarian like substitute meat substitute section. And normally they have like the Amy's Organics and stuff like that in that area. And I even looked in like the frozen dinner section and they didn't have any of them there either. Sometimes I'll get their like Amy's burritos. I didn't see any of those either. And so they even had pizzas. Um, maybe they didn't have them at Walmart. That No, I think I did get them at Walmart. Um, but, like, Target has a huge selection of them. And I thought Walmart had a decent selection, like, not as big as Target's. But, um, I went back there, like I said, last week, and they had, like, nothing. So, since I saw it when we were walking down the aisle anyway, they were on sale. I was like, I'll pick a couple of these up. So, those weren't actually in my plan to get it at Jewel, but they did have some. And they had another really good deal, too, where, um, I told you guys last week I was going to get meatballs at Valley Produce, part of their two-day sale. But I missed their two-day sale, so Jewel had a deal where it was $5.99 for meatballs, and you got a pasta and a pasta sauce for free, which is like, that's awesome so even though it wasn't as cheap as the meatballs I was going to get last week which the meatballs I was going to get last week were I think $4.99 a pound um or not a pound but just like for the bag and this week they were $5.99 but I got those two things for free so I'm actually saving those meatballs like I told you guys maybe either for Christmas or for um like Thanksgiving because we'll do appetizer sometimes and stuff like that and just save those for then and not actually do it like we'll use the pasta and pasta sauce for anything but those meatballs like I said were decent decent deal for um the price and stuff like that and they were a decent size bag too at first I thought well, they were gonna be like super small bag they're actually a decent size so um yeah I did get a couple of good snags at Jewel but Jewel isn't a place that I like to shop unless there's like it's like everything has to be in the sales paper that I'm buying or if I see it and it, I know it's a really good deal um like I said at the store whereas like Valley Produce and Caputo's I go there mainly specifically for my meat um anything from like the deli like cheeses and meats and sandwich meat that kind of stuff um like their ground beef chicken that kind of thing i'll get there sometimes if they have a couple sales too i'll get them but they don't have quite as many sales on their just like normal like you know packaged stuff um or like you know personal care and like household products and whatever but their produce is always like rock bottom they neither store had cauliflower on sale this week so that's how i was like i'll just get a jewel so um and it was 69 cents which is normally around the price that i pay for cauliflower when it's on sale at either the two stores anyway sometimes there's a little bit cheaper like 49 cents but yeah guys um we went there and I also ended up getting four vlogs uploaded today. Oh my goodness, guys, I got like something in my nose. Um, and then I also edited the one vlog from yesterday and then two old ones as well. I swear, guys, I'm gonna sneeze. But we stayed up again this weekend and stinking watching Ghost Adventures again, guys. I've done this for the last three or four weeks now. And Matthew is over here like, let's watch one more episode. And I'm like, okay, fine. And then he falls asleep. Last week I fell asleep, but um, I did take a, a tiny little nap. <laughs> and so I need to go take a shower and head to bed. But I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. Right, Mr. B? Should they give a thumbs up? <laughs> if you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see you all recent shiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.